I saw it on Josh's video. You look just like that alien from Roswell. Only a little smaller, but a close match. <laughs> Thanks. me for a science project. You guys, stop goofing off. This is serious. We only have this week to do this report. Attention, pressure. Bad grade on history. And I'm not good at that either. Hamilton, you're not going to get kicked out of school for one bad grade. Besides, you have Alan as a partner. Yeah, but remember, he's got me. Robbie, let's search further down the shore. Hamilton, just trust me, you'll be fine. Fine? What's that? How would I recognize it if I was it? Anyways, you don't know. If I don't pass this class, I'll get thrown out. Robbie, Mom! Look, just stick with Alan, okay? Just stick with Alan. Alan! Alan! Ooh. Oh, you're alive! <laughs> Why wouldn't I be? Sharks! Riptides all, all the way out to China. Oh, you're back. Not my fault. Relax, Hammy. I'm fine. I can't relax if my friend's gone. Friends look out for friends. I think. I'm not really sure about friends. I mean, who's had any? <laughs> Except for everybody else. You're a good friend, Hamilton. Ecology assignment, due Thursday, hard. No, we just come here every day and record what we find. Okay, we better rev up. We've got a lot of observations to record. Oh, no. I forgot. Mom, magnetos, headers, bearings. I gotta go. Uh, okay, well, I'll do today's work and you do tomorrow's. Great, thanks, Alan. Do it good. Can't fail. We'll have to leave. Bye. My loyal viewers, you have been most patient. But your waiting has not been in vain. <laughs> I, Phil Berg, alien hunter, and let us not forget, real life abductee, have something to show you. <gasps> something that no one has ever seen before. <laughs> It's privileged. It's classified. It's mine! <laughs> Alien transports come in all shapes and sizes. This particular authentic UFO has been cleverly disguised to resemble an ordinary household object. Something that you would never suspect. Something you might see at a diner or a local coffee shop. Aha! <laughs> Is this 
A flying saucer? The ordinary mind would say no. But Phil Berg is no ordinary mind. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, right, hey, shut hey, down. this has got to be some kind of mis mistake. Hey, you put that back. Who told you you could strike the stage? Hey, this is my show. This is my home. No, 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 you are not taking that. I need that to record extraterrestrial visitors. You... <laughs> Watch the skies. Cancelled? <laughs> Hamilton? Hamilton? Oh, excuse me. just lost your best friend. H have you seen Hamilton? No. Man, he's not anywhere. Well, he's probably just homesick or something. Yeah, but we got work to do. The ecology project, today's supposed to be his turn. I'm in charge of the big fish, and he's in charge of the little fish. Alan, after all, he is Hamilton. Hey, Robbie. Check it out. Look what's reopening. Delbert has a go-kart track? I'm so there. Alan, if you're so worried, why don't you just call him? Call who? I wasn't talking to you. Why not? What did I do? Oh, silly. I mean, I was talking to... Al oh, forget it. Where's Hamilton? Exactly. Yeah, I could call him. But I don't have his number. You're the station manager. Please, I do not cancel my show. Watch the Skies is more than just a TV show. It's a mission. It's a public service. Is there anything, anything that I can do to save Watch the Skies? They need a kiddie show to please the FCC? I'll give them a kiddie show. Those aliens think they can infiltrate the FCC and defeat Phil Berg. Ha! Ha, I say! Where there is Berg's will, there is Berg's way. What kind of friend am I? I don't even know his phone number. Alan, don't be so hard on yourself. Yeah, lots of people don't know their best friend's phone numbers. What do I know about Hamilton? Of course there was that legendary chem lab explosion. That was an accident. Says Hamilton. All right, look, he says he's been in and out of five schools in two years. Right. He moved a lot. Maybe he moved again. I think there was a picture of red algae in my other science book. Look, if he doesn't show to school tomorrow, we'll go to the office. They'll know how to find him. On Zila, we're all part of each other. Here, we're separated by these bio-containers. Well, I can't do anything about that, but we do have phones and addresses. Yeah, you're right. I'll find him. It's the Uncle Floppy Show, brought to you by Delport Waste Management hey, Systems. Yes. <laughs> You're gonna laugh your ears off at Uncle Floppy's cartoon cavalcade. <laughs> Every day to Cable 3 TV, Delport's new place to get a smile for your face. You know, I didn't could happen. Fergus hit rock bottom. Right after, watch the skies at its regular time. <laughs> well, look, th that's just the point. I, I don't know if it's an emergency. Th th that's why I need his number. Can't you make an exception just this one time? The number you have 
dialed has been disconnected. Please check the number and dial again. Hamilton's been disconnected since birth. Look, we were supposed to meet at the beach every day this week for our ecology project. But he wasn't there yesterday or today. That's why I gotta find him. What's wrong with you? I guess I overramped when I absorbed the file of the entire 10th grade. All the addresses got jumbled. Oh, Josh. Oh, no. No way. After what happened last time, Dad would kill me. Come on, I can't go back to that office. Just one little peek into the school's computer, just long enough to get his address. No way. Oh, come on, Josh. La, 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 I can't hear you. How many favors have I done for you? As of saving the world counts. Oh, all right. The school system is so lame. Searching, searching, bingo! Okay, let's go. Oh, no. Are you kidding? Not me. Come on, it'll be an adventure. Have fun. You're coming with me. Now that's where you're wrong. It's gonna get dark out soon, and that's a bad part of town. What if it were me that were missing? Can't we just give him one more day? Maybe he'll show up. By then, it'll be too late. And Hamilton's my friend. Okay, all right, I'm coming. Man, you're like a walking full court press. Now, you sit on the front of my bike and we'll fly across the moon. Okay, if you think it'll help. We have got to rent you that movie. You sure this is Hamilton's neighborhood? Well, the numbers are going down. Yeah, we're in the 3600s. At least we're heading in the right direction. If you can do that around here. Are we still in Delport? Looks like another planet to me. Yeah, more like a cloudy day on Isthmus. What's that? Uh, just a asteroid to the left of Alpha Centauri. Uh, not much, but a bunch of pits and craters. Got this place, Beat. There it is, 3613. Alan, this is really creepy. Well? There's no signs of life. Three days, not a word. And it's Thursday, our assignment's due. Oh, Robbie, I hope you have the echo chart ready. I saw Murphy, and he said we have to give our reports first. I can't do mine without Hamilton. You better. If you don't, you'll fail. Look, whatever Hamilton's going through, it's not worth you failing. Yes, it is, Robbie. He's my friend. And now he's gone, and I didn't even care enough to find out anything about him. No one knows much about that guy. Look, he's got to be around here somewhere. I bet if we ask a lot of people, they'll all know a little. Hmm? Okay, what do we got? Philip saw Hamilton out by Mailer Road yesterday. Good, I talked to Talia and she said she saw Hamilton at the hardware store covered in grease. Well, I talked to Moose and... It's a little fuzzy because he was holding me by my feet, but I think he said he saw Hamilton walking around in a helmet and carrying a wheel. That's it. I give up. Hamilton's missing, period. Well, what kind of a wheel? Like a steering wheel? He didn't say. Wait a minute. Last time I saw him. I can't relax, my friend's gone. Friends look out for friends. Maybe, I'm not really sure about friends. I mean, who's that any? Except for everybody else. So he dropped a wrench, what about it? I can't 
relax if my friend is gone. Friends look out for friends. I think. I'm not really sure about friends. And that's the flag. <laughs> Who's that? Just like the one in the ad Erica showed me. The grease, the wrench he was carrying. Cars. I remember the day we were at the beach, he ran off saying something about his mother. The old go-kart place. Let's go. But Alan, we have to get to the beach for our ecology reports. Look, I can get extra credit any time if I have to. I can't get an extra hand. Hamilton, where have you been? Our ecology projects due today. Oh no! I forgot! Oh, Hamilton jerkhead! Again! Kick myself! Always do that! And get thrown out! Move! How could you forget something so important? My mom's manager, go-karts. And it's the reopening. It's important too. So that's two important things. Never did that. Boy, Hamilton sunk. Wait, so you forgot about our project because you had to help your mom? Well, start Saturday. My mom runs the go-go. Like to be needed. Well, how come the school doesn't have your correct address or phone number? Because of before. See, my mom would pick up the phone, listen, cry, and then I'd be in a new school. But I can't have that now. I have friends. Yeah, but doesn't she get suspicious that the school never calls her? Uh, well, it's, it's, hard, it's hard to explain. See, I'm, I'm a lot like my mom. It's a cool thing about her. I know, I shouldn't have lied. I don't know. Well, if you don't want to give your mom more bad news, we better get to the beach in 15 minutes, or you'll fail and get kicked out. Ah, oh, that's not at all unusual for me, but for you, you'll fail too, and that's not good. The beach is a half hour away, we'll never make it. Look, nobody's gonna fail. Maybe you're right. The price of greatness is steep. 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 The price of greatness is but poor Phil. Of any mammal on Earth. 
And guess what, kids? You're all mammals. <laughs> <laughs> are not gonna make it. Well, we gotta stall, so, um, ask a question. Mr. Murphy, what's the difference between a, a dune and a burn? Not in time. Oh, no good. Hamilton loser. Try it again. Try it again. Sea critters eat and live in the ocean with other big critters that eat them. It's kind of a weird system, but all in all, I guess it works. Right, because everything needs every other thing to survive, even in the ocean. Which is true on the whole planet as well. It's kind of cool when you think about it. Look out, Earth! I'm an alien! I do weird things sometimes. Here comes... The brand new series, Marvin Marvin, starts tomorrow at 6.30, only on Nickelodeon.